Hey guys, Mark here with CodeWithMark.com. Once again, the website is CodeWithMark.com. In this video, I want to share with you how you can create yourself a secure REST API. For example, let's say we have this website here in which it tells us like uh, when the package was delivered. So if you look at it, so let's say this is the URL. We can give this URL to anybody else and they can keep track of when the package was delivered, what the status is, so on and so forth. So if I refresh this, and it's gonna tell me, hey, this is the package, it got delivered, this date, and then this is the information, it's journey, so on and so forth. So if you wanted to get the information for this, the simple way to do this, let's look at the source code. So I'm gonna right click this, and by the way, I am using Google Chrome. So I right click here, look at the page, and seems like this page is very cryptic. As you can see, it's all minified and there's nothing special about it. So nothing is getting printed on the page, which is good. So what that basically means is that this page is using a REST API service to get the data that is being displayed here. So if you wanna know what that REST API URL is, easiest way to do that is you can just right click here in Google Chrome and click on inspect and then you'll get this uh, from here click on console and I'll make that bigger actually let's make this bigger so rather than click on console you can click on network and then if I refresh this page it's gonna reload the page and it's gonna load all the different URLs and every other files that gets pulled in when the page is finished loading and everything that it puts it out in here on the left hand side it's gonna show you and all that's here. So if you wanna know what the Ajax URL is, from here you click on where it says XHR and from here it's gonna say these are the different URLs that is extracting information from or sending the information to. So let's look at the first one. So if I click on this, which is this URL, and then I'm gonna go to preview and check to see what it does. Right now it does nothing. So this is not the URL that we want to get the information. So let's see what's the next URL, what it does. This URL does absolutely nothing. And this one where the meats and potato is. So if I go here, and just copy this URL. And let's go back here, come back here. And I just paste it here. So basically what this does is this is a get URL. It's gonna give you based on the record ID if you wanna call it that. And it's gonna give you a JSON data automatically. Which is nice, but if someone wants to create a their own interface rather than going to their website to track and information, they could just copy this URL and plug in the ID and then get all the information they want. If you want to do that, this is the way to do it. So instead of doing this, how to make this REST API secure would be, let me show you, and this is the sketch. So let's say we have this page here, right? And then we'll just call it web. I know, not the greatest handwriting here, but you get the picture. And in here, when the page loads, it's gonna type in, type in, type in. And from here, when it gets to this part, it's gonna go to the API service here. We'll just call it A just for short. And then it's gonna, API service is gonna give the information back in here so it can display it down here. So that's what this to doing. So instead of it going here and directly coming back in here, when the page loads, what this site could do is create a custom token as the page loads it. And then when the REST API goes in here, so I'll create another one here. So when the REST API goes, it takes this token, we'll just call this token here, and attaches to the API call and sends it back here and then it will here validate it whether the token is part of the server or not. So picture this. 
So this page getting loaded, 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 loaded here. And then it gets to the point where it's gonna go make the API call. And then on the page load, it's gonna go create a token and it's gonna put it somewhere in here. And then also it's gonna save that same token on the server somewhere in the database or something. So when we send this token API call with the record ID that we wanna look up, it's gonna say, hey, I got this token, can you look it up? And it's gonna to go to his database over here, call it DB. And it's gonna say, hey, oh yeah, I found this database. I found this token, then it's gonna send this information back. It's like, yes, I found it. And once it finds it, then it's gonna send it back. So that would be probably a better way to create a secure REST API service rather than just saying, hey, here's a record ID, go give me the information and then come back. So anyone can go to this particular URL and then create their own little interface over here and they don't need this. This is gonna be crap then. I know it looks like crap right now, but you get the point, at least when you follow through. If you don't, rewind the video, you'll see it. So to in order for you to create a secure API, first, create a token on the server and then include that token somewhere in your API call, and then when it goes to the server, it checks for that particular token. If it's validated, then it's gonna show the information, otherwise it's going to say, this is not a valid API call, you're missing a token or something like that. Hope that helps you. Please include that in your projects, in your REST API services, so that way you have a secure server and no one is gonna be able to grab your information just for the hell of it. All right guys, until next time, Happy coding.